Dan Davis, PJ Club Professional here at the Chase Golf and Country Club and today I'm going to show you how to play the Tiger Stinger. question is when are you going to use this shot so there's a few scenarios where you would use it when the ground's firm or it's windy and you want to keep the ball below the wind it's a more of a link style shot or you want to show up in front of your mate so you've got a few options where you would play it now let's get more involved of how you're going to play it, what club you're going to use etc how are you going to play this shot then? So what we're going to do, we're going to use a long iron. So at the minute I've got a two iron. You can play this with a four or three iron as well, something with not too much loft at the end of the day. We want this ball flight to be as low as we possibly can. So we're going to focus and look a little bit about ball position, where you should put that, and the style of swing you're going to use. Now, the whole swing needs to be tailored around dynamic loft, and this is the loft that you produce at impact, okay? So if you think about it, for us to get that ball flight driving really low, the loft here needs to be reduced slightly, okay? So let's have a look and take a look at what you can do to manipulate your swing to see that low ball flight. Okay, so ball position, let me just pop this uh, parallel to the camera. So a lot of people make the mistake when they think about low ball flight and want to hit as low as possible, they put the ball position right at the back of the stance. Now, this is fine when you're playing a little chip shot, but if we're trying to create full speed and power through here, you get stuck through impact. So what we're going to do, normally you would play four, three or a two iron, sort of forward of centre around there underneath my left chest. Now, what we're going to change is we're going to put it more in the centre, okay? So, yes, we're applying, we're putting the ball further back than we would normally, but not right to the back of our stance, because we can still get through the golf ball just there, okay? So, in terms of the swing itself, because we want to be producing less loft and create that lower ball flight, what we're going to do, we actually reduce the length of the backswing to three quarters, and then we're going to reduce the follow-through to three quarters as well. So what this does, it allows you, if you think here, low hands, low flight, if you trace it back to the golf ball, we're taking the loft off impact, and that's what we want. We want to be driving that golf ball as low as we possibly can. So ball position, centre, backswing, three quarters, follow through, three quarters. Now, the most effective ball flight for this is right to left, because as soon as that, for a right-handed golf, so as soon as that lands, it's gonna bound on, okay? So if you're playing a fade, it's gonna pull up quicker. So if we can get you playing a bit of a draw, then that will be advantageous as well. So let's have a little go. So, ball position, center. Three-quarter back swing, three-quarter through swing, still producing plenty and plenty of speed. come out nice and low. Give it a go, let me know you got on. Now if you are enjoying the videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and uh, tick the notification buttons and then when the next videos become live, you'll get a notification of that. So uh, hope you're enjoying it and I'll see you soon.